Minecrafted here. I'm going to show you how to swap out your bearings in your brushless motors. I've already pulled my C-clip out to make it easier, quicker. I like to use a 22 millimeter socket. I like to start with this bearing first. I have a little small punch here. This one here is a 1 16th inch punch, which is uh, 1.5 millimeters. You can use a small drill bit too. And what you want to do is you want to, if you can see this with the camera, you want to get this punch on the inner race here. That way you don't cause any damage to your motors. And I do apologize for all the noise in the background. I'm outside and there's a pretty busy road behind me here. And once I feel that inner race, I'm just going to take my hammer and just give it a couple of nice little taps. And it should pop right out. Just like that. You see I dented the shield there. And you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to try to get this race, like I was saying before. I got a pretty tore up punch here, so it probably slipped right off of there. But if you're just changing bearings and you're not, uh, you're putting new bearings in and you're just getting rid of old ones, it's not a big deal if you do that. If you're maintaining bearings, just taking them out to clean them, you want to make sure that you take care not to do what I just did. I don't know if you guys saw that. You notice how this fits in here real nice? Yes, that keeps the pressure even on here and keeps from bending your, your base up. Nice even pressure. Fits good. Bearing falls right through there. Alright, to put the bearings back, let's see here. Put some new bearings in. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. Shouldn't take long. I can do all four of them here. Starting with the clip. Pull your C clip out. Yep, stubborn washers. Get your washers off of here. Your shims. There's one. There's two. Most motors usually only use one. These ZMX use two. Real quick. punch. This one has seen some times. Just cheap Harbor Freight punches. They don't last very long. They bend. Once you bend them back, they're never strong. Okay, to install the bearings, we are going to Get them out here. What I like to use is a M3 bolt. This one's 30 millimeters long. You can use one a little shorter. And a nut and a washer. And two old bearings. And what these bearings will do, make sure you don't confuse it with your new bearings. You don't want to put the get the bearing started first. Just like that. Well, it slid right in. So did that one. Usually doesn't go on that easily. Usually you have to kind of work it back and forth to get those bearings started. Once you get them started, it's not a big deal. Take your old bearing, place it over the top. Place your washer there. A little shaky hand today and too much caffeine. I have a little wrench here to put on that nut. I just got a little Phillips head. Not the best choice. A hex head would be much better. And just tighten it on up. And that these two bearings will just put even pressure on the old bearings. Seating them nicely. Nice and tight. Not over tight, but just snug. 
You want to double check to make sure your bearings are seated all the way. That's pretty much all it is to it. Old bearing here. Okay, let's see here. It looks you can see that little ridge there. That's seated nicely. That's nice and just below the center here. That's sitting nice and flush. And that's it. I'll place it back on there. Oh, some of the nice bearings. Now what we want to do before we put our clips back on, we want to give it a little bit of oil. These bearings usually don't come oiled from the factory. Some do, but it doesn't hurt to add a little more. Right around that inner race. Same here. Sloppy hands. Sorry, it's going to kind of wick its way in there. They actually make some syringes you can use too to actually get a little more precise aim. And that's little crack on the inner race. Don't bother trying to put it on the outer race. It's not going to do anything. Right on the inner race, it's a slight gap there. You know, wick that oil right in there. Make sure it spins freely. Sounds nice. Better than it sounded before. It's first time with these new bearings, so we're going to give these guys a shot. These are Zen bearings. They're about $4.80 a piece, pretty pricey. We're going to give them a shot, see how they do, see if they hold up better than all these uh, old El Cheapo dollar bearings, 25 cent bearings, 50 cent bearings. They're not bad as long as you keep them maintained. And that's the case with the good bearings too. They'll also need to be well maintained, cleaned and oiled to get maximum life. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.